Okay, good morning everyone. Uh, my name's Pete. I'm sorry you can't see me, but I've got the worst setup ever for um, doing something like this. Okay, so I've been asked if I can do a small tutorial on uh, how to make Square Wave um, music files for the flyback uh, drivers. So what you need, first of all, let's get down to business. What you need is the FL Studio. That's Fruit Loops Studio program. Uh, if you don't have it, you can always uh, Google it and download a free, a free version, which is just as good as the one you pay for. Uh, let's get it up on screen. And here we go. Sorry for the delay, it takes a little long, my, my uh, laptop's pretty old. Okay, so we've got FL Studio up on the screen. Let's get rid of the things we don't need, get them out of the way. Great. Okay, so the next thing you need to do is um, import, go to File, scroll down to Import, and it will come up MIDI File. Click on that. Now you need to import a MIDI file, preferably one that's already made for Tesla coil use. Again, you can find them on the internet. There's absolutely thousands of them out there. Um, and the good thing is they're already sorted out for this sort of thing. Let's see what we can find. Let's find something, something that's not too... Mm, let's have a look at pirates. That might be a good one. Now, now um, FL Studio asks you what tracks to import. For now, just accept everything. So we just give that a moment to load up. I'm hoping you can see this okay. Really, this setup is terrible. Okay, that's loaded up. Okay, so now what we need to do is we need to go to the channel rack, view channel rack. So let's click on that and see what we've got. If it decides to work, that is. Oh, there we go. So uh, there we have the channel rack. Now that is showing you the song, the MIDI file here. Now what we need to do is click on channel one of the channel rack. Oh no, so uh, yeah, let's, let's click on that first. I'm getting ahead of myself here. Right click on that. Now we need to scroll down to replace. Oops. And we're going to replace it with the 3x oscillator. So scroll down to 3x oscillator and click there. Okay, now we've got the 3x oscillator up. All we have to do, it's very simple. By the way, this is the only way I know how to do this, um, but it seems to work quite well. Now, on each, the 3x oscillator is what it says it is. It's uh, There's three oscillators, one, two, and three. And each one has got a different waveform that you can select. I'm not going to run all through them, but you need to select square wave. Okay, on one, two, and three. After you've done that, what you could do, in fact, which makes life a little bit easier, is go to the top left, click Add, scroll over to Effect, uh, where we're looking at, then drop down to Visual, and select Wave Candy. Now this is a gives you a visual representation of the waveform that you're trying to find. It's much easier. Okay, uh, let's change its colour, shall we? Let's have a look, see what we can see. Uh, let's go for purple. Give it a purple background. Okay, let's bring that up. I'm only doing this really for your benefit so as you can really see what's going on. And we're going to enlarge the screen a little bit. And just for fun, 
will separate the two lines using stereo separation control down the bottom. Okay, now you can get rid of the that because that's that's already there. Okay, oops. Go back to the channel rack because I need that. Okay, so on the channel rack, you've now selected the 3x oscillator. You've got Wave Candy up and ready. So what you now need to do is simply press play. Okay, maybe that's not playing. Let's go to that one, shall we? There we go. Now, if you look at Wave Candy, you can now see that the signal is in fact a square wave. Now, let's turn that down a bit because you can't hear me. That's better. A little bit more. Okay. So now Wave Candy is giving you a visual representation of the wave that you're trying to find. And it's as simple as that. So if we... There you go, let's stop that, shall we? That's really all you need to do. Um... Stop. Thank you. Okay, that's pretty much all you need to do. Now, if you go back to... Flex. If you click on right click on there, and if you replace the 3x oscillator with flex, well, I can find it that is. Um, dum, 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 dum. Where are we at? Where are we at? Okay, now let's not bother with that. Let's not bother with that. Let's close that off. Uh, where we are? Where are we going? Let's close the whole thing down again. I've lost I've lost the plot here. Sorry about this. Um, oh, let's come up there. We get rid of that. Okay. Now what I'm trying just trying to do here is to show you the difference. Unfortunately, I completely lost the plot on that one. Mm, come on. I really do need to get some better equipment, by the way. <laughs> okay. Let's bring that back up online again. Now, I just want to show you the difference between using the 3X oscillator and the normal one. So let's re-import that song. Here we go. Do, 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 Where we at? Where we at? There we are. Okay, again we'll accept all on the import MIDI data screen. Okay. Okay, that's up. Now let's get um bring the channel back, back up again. And we've just got channel one in there instead of the three X oscillator. And uh, let's add the wave candy plugin. Oh, oh dear, where's it gone? Oh yeah, visual, there it is. And we'll go down to Wave Candy. Okay. Let's move that out of the way a minute. Now just to show you the difference. Uh, where are we at? Let's get some colour back in there again because it's it's just a little bit easier to see if you colour colour it up a bit. There we go. Okay. Enlarge that. Now, if you play the song without changing it to the 3x oscillator, you'll see a difference in the signal. Oh, I pressed the wrong one again. Keep doing that. There you go. Should have done that in the first place, shouldn't I? But that's what the signal looks like before you change it with the 3x oscillator. So let's just stop that. And let's just redo that again. Go to the channel where it says channel one on the channel rack. Right click, select replace, down to the 3x oscillator. That comes up. Select square wave on each of the oscillators. Now play again and you'll see the difference. 
There you are. As you can see, the signal is now a nice, clean, square wave. And that's the sort of signal that the drivers recognise. So, uh, like I said, this is the only way I know how to do this. Um, uh, Jonathan of JR Electronics uh, has come up with a better solution, uh, but I've yet to um, actually get to grips with that. So I hope this helps. Please leave any comments, uh, any questions. I'll be more than happy to answer them. Okay, thank you very much. Catch you again. Bye for now.